Alright my friends, how we doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another reaction video. Today we look at the 48th ranked player in the top 100 NFL players in 2022. His name's Robert Quinn. It's a name I've heard before. It's not a face I, I can um, apply to that name, but I'm sure we'll see that and more in just a few seconds. He plays defensive end for the Bears, the Bears. And with that in mind, let's get into it. This Robert Quinn is an unstoppable force. Here's why I love Robert Quinn. He was why, Mike? Why? Oh my God! Look at him. He was a state champion in wrestling in high school. A lot of high school bodybuilders will train for 20 years and still not look like that. People don't know that. All due respect to my basketball players, we're gonna go on the hardwood. We're gonna be real cool. Shake them up, pull up, free throws, all that. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Jump shot, fade away, all that. He's like, nah, man, I'm gonna put a headgear on, get sweaty, wrestle. Oh, you gotta love it with Mike Daniels. You just it's have to. It's been some time since Robert Quinn last appeared on the top 100. Basketball's a flashy sport, but then again, so is football. Uh, wrestling? Not so much. Though he did look like a bodybuilder. I don't know what he was eating, I don't know how he was training, but fuck. What an absolute beast. But some things never change. I mean, he's unbelievable. I mean, I think there's this NFL throwbacks Instagram page, and they posted, I guess he had a season where he had like 20 sacks. He's been in St. Louis, and I was watching that like, what in the world? It's eight years from that, right? So it looks like there's no drop off in those eight years. 20 sacks? How old is the guy? Quinn makes his return to the players list in record-setting fashion. His 18 and a half sacks set a Bears franchise record and put him over 100 for his career. Hey! What? How's this hell for you? It's like every every couple seasons, people like try and forget about Robert Quinn. Like he didn't he didn't have like 19 or 20 sacks one year. Like this is a guy who's got what 100 and something sacks. He does. That he does. And with that in mind, let's have a look at his stats. He certainly deserves it. I've seen him. I've seen. Uh, I must have seen him on the list before, but uh, let's get into it. Nick Minnett. 1990. 6 foot 4, 245. May 19th. May 18th, sorry. 1990. 32 years of age. Went in the first round of the 2011 draft. Picked number 14. Uh, played at the Rams from 2011 to 2017. Then the Dolphins in 2018, the Cowboys in 2019, and he's been at the Bears for the last two years. He was selected as a first team All Pro in 2013, and eight years later is selected as a second team All Pro in 2021. Now I don't know what happened in between there. Well actually now I do. He won three Super Bowls. Sorry! <laughs> Sorry, Pro Bowl. Oh my god. Jeez, that's the first. Pro Bowl, Super Bowl, which would you rather? I mean, three-time Pro Bowler, 13, 14, and last year. So there's a seven-year gap between Pro Bowl appearances, and that is sick. Ugh, he's listed at 245 in his profile, but pre-draft, he's 265. I could edit that, but I won't. A 40-yard dash of 4.7 seconds, a vertical jump of 34, a broad jump of 10 foot 5, 24 reps on the bench. Let's have a look at his stats. Oh my lordy lord. That's a lot of seasons. That's uh, that's 11 seasons, guys. 157 games. 359 combined tackles. 278 solo. 101 sacks. So he just snuck over with 18.5. If he had had 16.5, he'd still be on 99. 18.5 sacks. That's half a sack less than his career high back in 2013, which was 19. Four forced fumbles this year, bringing his total to 32. 20 passes deflected, including zero for the last two years, but that's okay. He was probably playing a different role in that year because he got less sacks, but he got more passes deflected. That's how I see it. Anyways, guys, what an absolute legend. Let's have a look at this. Quinn's mother, Maria Camacho, is from Trulio Alto, Puerto Rico. Quinn is the brother of Olympic gold medalist, Puerto Rican hurdler, Jasmine 
Camacho Quinn. Olympic gold in the family. That's something else. Let's just have a quick look at his co college career because we do want to know about his, um, his wrestling. Actually, they don't have a huge amount of information about his wrestling, but that's all right. Let's get back into it. The 32-year-old 30, veteran who kind of looks like Ray Lewis, I'm not going to lie. Um, hopefully, we get a nice headshot of him. Oh, he found a found a youth? No. He's got the right mentality. He's a wrestler. I'm a wrestler. I understand the mentality. And he takes... Okay, I don't know about Robert Quinn, but you don't want to wrestle Mike Daniels. That mentality on the football field. And nobody blocked At all. the mighty Quinn. Can't kill us. We're still around. No, we're not like roaches. You can't kill roaches, but I don't want to call us roaches, right? Like machines, man. Down he goes! Sacked again! Robert Quinn, a resurgent year. And it looks like there's zero drop-off in the way that he's moving and coming off the edge. They get midfield, and down he goes! Down he goes! He's back again, the commentary team. Love 94 it. Shot out of a cannon to bring down Baker Mayfield. <laughs> As a defense man, like coming off the edge, like how low he can get and keep that speed coming around the corner. A lot of yeah, defense nice. He's an absolute sack machine. Let's try and throw that, you know, in their arc. Second in the league last year to only TJ Watt, I'm led to believe. But, you know, it's, it's hard to do and he's, he's pretty dang good at it. Just a, such a great story. I mean, this guy only had two sacks last year. He signed a big contract to come over five years, 70 million, and there was questions whether he was worth it, but he's come on this year. Oh my and God, he'd be playing till he's 36 at least. Had an unbelievable year. And that is the formidable Robert Quinn. Tell you what, to sign a 31-year-old guy at the time to a five-year, $70 million deal, they knew what they were getting. They knew he hadn't dropped off. He's joined some good company NFL players with 16 or more sacks in 13 games or less. T.J. Watt, Robert Quinn, Sean Merriman, and Reggie White. He has just had a phenomenal season this year and just keeps producing. How does he do that? Good penetration at the line of scrimmage. Was able to get into the backfield. No way Tunyon could oh. deal with Robert Quinn off the snap. I think it is the wrestling. It's got to be the wrestling. I will, I will not be surprised. I'm actually expecting him to have a very similar season to what he had this past season. Fred. Well, I, well, for the Bears' sake, I hope he does. Right, guys, that was an entertaining one. Um, they're only going to get more entertaining from here on out. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the next one, we're looking at Fred Warner, the player I've certainly seen before, and um, no time to lose. Robert Quinn, best of luck. Fred Warner, I'll see you soon. Cheers, guys, and peace out.